Good morning, odd people. Well, today I'm really upset. I'm really upset. Um, uh, in my last videos, uh, one of the viewers, uh, his name is Mick, uh, he, he made a comment that one of uh, the uh, new bulls, uh, new YouTuber, um, said such and such and such. And uh, I was curious. I was curious. First of all, thank you, Mick, even though we disagree, but I, you know, I think it's good to have, uh, you know, different views. It's healthy. Uh, so I watched the video and boy, that was actually really bearish. That was really bearish. So I want to emphasize the, on the fact that uh, in this channel, we, we are transparent. We are transparent. We are new bulls. Most of us are. I, I know others are not. Others are short and, and whatever. That's fine too. But, uh, you know, we, this is a place where we um, analyze things. We use data. We use information properly. We don't hide stuff, good, bad, whatever it is. So in this case, and as you know, I made videos. I made videos criticizing uh, bank assessments or, or analyst assessment when they when they had the, a price on new uh, fifty nine dollars for example or fifty dollars at the time when new had nothing and and and, and buy and yet now they have uh, whatever you know uh, eight bucks or nine bucks uh, and and it's a neutral or, or whatever the things that don't don't add up and don't make sense uh, YouTubers do. Yeah, which, with all respect to everybody, I mean, I'm not uh, really after anybody. I'm just saying that you know this is this is what I see. Uh, that and where's the logic in that? Okay, yeah, geopolitics. Well, we can talk about this until the donkeys come home. This is not. We're talking about the company fundamentals of the company, and in the arguments, there's no you know, hey, China. Uh, there's no war. You know, everybody talks about China and uh, Taiwan. And uh, there's no, nothing happened. We've been talking about this. I know this has been going on for years. This is, this is the flag. It reminds me of the Greece issue back some t 12 years ago when everybody was talking about Greece, economic situation, and, uh, and Europe, and that would impact uh, some company in the States. It's like, why would it do that? Oh, it's the economy, and, uh, you know, and, and it's all of this, and maybe European Union will this. And These are all excuses to do whatever they want to do. But the bottom line is that uh, not long ago, I made a video of, uh, on a YouTuber who, who said uh, that he was Neo Bull. And he was, actually. I liked the guy, like I said. But, but all the comments were bearish and it was all, you know, justified, you know. Um, this YouTuber, though, is uh, different. This YouTuber frequently covers Neo, frequently talks about Neo. And it's important to go through what he says uh, carefully. Right. He's smart, just like the other one. The other one is smart too, but this one is uh, smart and uses data and, uh, and uh, you know, use logic. And I love logic. I love logic, you know. And uh, anyway, so I'm going to go through his comments uh, one by one to see if they make sense or not. First of all, the, uh, the title of the video is uh, Neo Time to Get Real. To be honest with you, that is actually, without watching the video, you could tell that the whole thing is, uh, is uh, negative. Uh, but the problem is, are we saying that uh, we were not, you were not real in the past? Of course not. Of course you're not saying that. This is just, hey, you know, let's be honest here or something. That, well, then uh, we'll be not on. It, the, the thing is that even the title itself, uh, I mean, we're not, you know, we, we you know, we... We're not kids, okay? We are we are grown ups. We are we are grandparents. We are retired people. We are you know old people here. So you know time to get real, and it it doesn't make sense. Even the title doesn't make sense. Anyways, I'm not gonna stop too much on this one. Uh, and then gives excuses of what's going on. What's going on in the in the in China? First of all, it's the economy, uh, the Chinese economy. Yes, I agree. Chinese economy is uh, is weak uh, compared to before yeah fine but it affects everybody and not just neo your video is on neo so okay but i agree 
Uh, massive competition. Yes, I agree. Massive competition. Uh, but that would affect also the OEMs, such as the BMWs and the Mercedes and, uh, and the Audis and, uh, and the Toyotas and everybody, and, and even Tesla. That actually also explains why Tesla keeps on uh, cutting prices. So uh, that affects everybody. Uh, an interesting comment is that, that, the, um, that the EV sales is up year over year by over 100%. Uh, but then, uh, but then the deliveries will be low because of the fact that you have too much supply from all these different companies. I would agree with that. Uh, I, however, as mentioned also in the video, that uh, most of these increases are in the in the mass uh, product, you know, which are in the in the cheap uh, prices. So. Anyways, keep that in mind. But in general, I would agree that you have so much competition, so many companies. Of course, of course, that would put pressure on the uh, on the um, margins on and also on the sales. Okay. Uh, and there was a comment that most of these companies will actually uh, probably will not survive, and that is logical to think they would e either have to merge, you know, or they will be out of business. Right, as only the strong. Only the strong and with and the ones with the best model will will survive. Okay, so yeah, I would agree with these comments. Now we come to Neo. Neo, it says that Neo has uh, well, Neo has six billion dollars in cash. No, that is not true. Neo has eight point four billion dollars in cash. Neo reported six point two billion dollars in cash at the end of Q three, and and just last month. They closed the deal with CYVN for $2.2 billion. So the money they have is actually $8.4 billion. When you take away the losses in Q4 and you take away the, the, uh, the costs for uh, JAC's uh, um, factories, factory assets, you know, F1 and F2, uh, and uh, you, you probably will come to something like $7.5 billion or so. So NEO does not have six, it actually has has uh, a lot more than that. Uh, then it uh, talks about the, the fact that uh, Abu Dhabi's, um, Abu Dhabi's money, that new got Abu Dhabi's money, which would give them, uh, you know, uh, it's a smart move on Neo's uh, end, and it will be strong and it will compete in China. I disagree with that, totally disagree with that. Abu Dhabi's money is not to, um, to help Neo compete in China. <laughs> Abu Dhabi is not an investment. It's not a normal investment because it would have been easier for 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 CYVN to buy shares off the market and and really push new stock price very high. If that's the case, Abu Dhabi's money is to have strategic uh, investment or strategic move for new to the United Arab Emirates. That's that's why there was also a comment on vote of confidence or something like that. I mean, seriously, seriously, do you really think that uh, uh, an Arab country somewhere, a financial institution somewhere, it will give a Chinese company $3.2 billion as a vote of confidence? I mean, do, you, do we really, or am I, yeah, you might think I'm taking this out of country. No, I'm not, you can't say that. We cannot say that. This is like, okay, yeah, they, we're downplaying. We're actually downplaying the whole investment. This is strategic investment. Some big institution invested uh, uh, $3.2 billion uh, uh, based on strategic move, strategic partnership. It's clear in the agreement. It's clear in the agreement. So why do we bring words that are not true? Why? What's the point of that? We should say as it is. It's in the agreement. Read the agreement, and and we can we we just say what it is, right? So, it's not a vote of confidence. It is it is a strategic and and uh, and, and one ex one one explanation for that is the fact that that CYVN will have two directors on board uh, with Neo, two directors. So why would they have two directors? Come on. Um, the uh, uh, also there is a talk about the or, or you know the video talks about the launch of uh, revamp uh, model, 
and the fact that the uh, this would um, um, uh, this would make January slow or whatever. Fine, you know we're talking about a month here. Are we just are we making a big issue out of a month? I mean, I honestly believe that every single comment used in that video is negative to to Neo. Even even the fact that Neo is coming up with a revamped model, which means actually it's good. It go it's good. BMW doesn't do that. Mercedes, Audi, all of the other ones, they don't do it. It is actually comp uh, a, a, a stiff competition among Chinese companies. And Neo is able to do that. So it is a great thing. So why are we all of a sudden saying, okay, well, you know, that adds a pressure. It does add, okay, yes, it does add because it adds pressure in the, in the uh, R&D, of course, because every year you got to do something. But you have to put things in perspective. And that this revamp model is nowhere close to the NT1 uh, and NT2 change last year. Last year was totally different. You can't make it like last year. It's not true. Um, so these are uh, uh, changes, th and, uh, and Neo is trying to stay up with, uh, uh, with the others. And in fact, Neo itself made comments uh, on the, in this regard. They made comment in this regard that we, uh, we don't, you know, they didn't want to do too many changes because they want to take the benefit. They want to, they, they want to capitalize on the changes that they already made. But there's so much competition going on that they are forced to do this just as they were forced to expand in Europe, I think, because of so much competition. Everyone is, is moving. Look at the trend. These Chinese companies, they go together, kind of. So, uh, so that's for this one, uh, and, and, and the impact on the margin in Q1 is not necessarily because of this revamp model. It's not because of that. You have to understand the overall picture. Neo, um, Neo wants to improve the, the margins, the vehicle margin. They said it in their, in their uh, earnings, right? Uh, if you remember Q3, um, Neo reported 11%. Q4 will be 15%. Everybody is, we're all looking for 15%, right? And moving forward, it's not going to drop below 15%. So as Tesla cuts prices, now you can say, well, Neo also cut price. They cut price on the old uh, uh, models and on what's left or whatever. They're not, it's not really uh, cutting price across the board on on the new models, no, 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 it's not, it's not like that. But, you know, would the margins be impacted? Yeah, a little bit, but not, not so much. But remember, we should not be looking for less than 15% vehicle margins for new moving forward. We should be looking for 15 or more, okay? So that's what this one is. Uh, okay, and... Like I said, I wrote these comments here so I don't forget them. Um, then there was this uh, talk about the, uh, the sub-brand and that the sub-brand uh, margins will be low and that would impact the overall margins or whatever. Even the sub-brand is, 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 is played down. And that is not necessarily true. One of the things that you have to understand is that the sub-brand has a unique feature and that is battery swap. No one else has that. No one else has that. So battery swap for a cheap vehicle is a big thing. It's a big thing. Okay, so we have to wait and see. Um, so, all in all, is Neo dead? Is Neo in trouble? Is Neo going bankrupt? Is Neo, and even with that, even mentioned that, uh, you know, and, and there was like some hesitation or whatever. Okay. <laughs> this is, this is, uh, yeah, I was really upset with that video. But anyways, it's it's my view. Anyways, uh, I could be I could be wrong. Uh, then then the the answer was well, it depends on your uh, uh, on what you're looking for. If your horizon is uh, twelve month, then then basically get out. That's the message. If your horizon is twelve month, you're not gonna get that. You're in the wrong stock. Okay, that's that's that is. That is as bearish as bearish could be, okay? Uh, totally agree, disagree with that. Totally disagree with that. Um, 
But anyways, the, the other one is, but NEO is a long term, is a long term, something like five to 10 years. So my question is, why do we say uh, 12 months and then we jump to five to 10 years? What happened to the two, uh, two, two years, three years, four years? You know, what happened to those? Why can't we say, you know, in 2025, two years from now? Why does it have to be 12 months or five years, five to 10 years? Anyways, totally disagree with that at all. And I don't understand why would anyone be a bull on a stock that, ha that says, well, in the long run, uh, that in the, in the next 12 months, uh, you're on the wrong stock. Why would you even be bullish on that, on the stock? Think about it. It doesn't make any sense to me. If I think that the next, the whole, this year, I would wait for it. I would wait for it. It doesn't make any sense. The second thing I want to say is that uh, we need to be careful. This is to, my, to, to the viewers of this channel. We need to be careful with all of these messages because they really can put doubts on your mind. And you could see how the difficulty I had in the long old days when, when I would listen to you know, different comments. And I, with all respect to the YouTubers, uh, you know, it's their views anyways. At the end of the day, it's their views. You could say, you know what? I'm going to wait 12 months and you could be toasted, maybe. Or you could wait 12 months and you would, you would save your life, you know, with the with whatever. It's all up to you anyways. It's, this is never financial advice. But um, uh, the, the thing is, look at news comments and not someone's opinion. Don't look at someone's opinion. Look at news comments. News comments says, they will gradually take the lead. In, and uh, some people say, well, you can't take uh, the leadership or whatever. Yes, you can. Of course you can. If there is a leadership that you can take the comments from, it is Neo. Uh, you can say, well, in the past they said this. No, anything in written, show me the written things and don't tell me about somebody made a comment in somewhere or whatever. No, translated or whatever. Everything that Neo said and did, was in the forecast follow the forecast if this is this is what i believe in i don't believe in uh, uh, hypes and stuff like that I remember there were videos on uh, oh neo sold so many vehicles in, uh, in in an hour or two hours or whatever these things this this is the stuff this is what we're talking about these these comments can be uh, transferred so easily and can go all over and make people uh, 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 make a decision one way or the other. So um, I totally disagree. I think NEO uh, is in the best situation among everyone because of NEO's model. NEO's model is unmatched, is unmatched, okay? Uh, uh, because, of, because of the moat, okay? So, uh, and there was a talk of uh, also in the video as well, you can't compare Neo to uh, Amazon. Yes, you can compare Neo to Amazon. Why? Why not? What's happening? Why not? Why can we not compare Neo to, or some, some people say, well, you cannot compare Neo to Tesla. Well, actually, Neo is better than Tesla as far as investment and as far as model. So, yeah, in that regard, maybe you should not. You can compare anybody to anybody. You can compare yourself to Warren Buffett. Why not? Who's making this? Well, I'm not comparing. It's like, a, it's like some kind of written, you know, holy uh, uh, rule or something. No, you can, you can do that. Okay. Read William Lee's message to the employees. And you would see that everything said in the video was not true. And, and I stick with the company. <laughs> and I stick with financial institutions who invest billions of dollars and not with somebody who would, with all respect, like I said, with, uh, with, uh, with comments from all over the uh, internet, okay? Including mine. Please never, don't listen to me. Just take my words as like, we're just as, uh, you know, odd. This is getting really odd here. And uh, we're just chit-chatting, okay? Never financial advice. Thank you. Bye-bye.